Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, and the IYT. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So let's get right into the daily SPY. We had 38 million on the day, 44 million after hours, 11 cents down, pretty much a non-event today. We did close below the 20 MA on the daily though, so that's something to watch. 50 MA, 200 MA, still above those, still okay. Bullish pattern, still holding up well. This bullish pattern plays out. 249, 250, 253 area. That will go straight up into here. Then we'll see what the next pattern gives us, possibly more upside. If this does not move up or try to attack the uh, 250 area, then we'll look for a little bit of slipping, fill a couple of the gaps, 50 MA, trend line. Then ultimately, I think the 228 area. So 253, 228. It's kind of right in the middle there. Let's see what uh, the weekly close does, and then let's see what we do next week into the uh, 4th of July weekend, which will pro the, the volume will probably dry up even more, guys. So watch the volume, 44 million, unbelievable. All right, let's get into the IWM. IWM held the 200, volume was okay. Um, again, it's got to get back above this trend line, got to get back above these areas, and then attack the all-time high. It gets above that, 145 to 150. They can't get above that area. Then watch for this thing to set up sideways and start moving down. If it moves down tomorrow, maybe closes down in this area. And hey, 50 MA's next area support. Still great support, still great resistance. Let's see which way this thing goes, or if it keeps setting up in more of a slightly bearish. Still bullish because you're above the MA's, but slightly bearish now. Just kind of like here, we broke down, and then all of a sudden we caught the magical bid right back up. And then here we are coming right back down to uh, the. Uh, 20 MA holding that. Let's see what happens uh, uh, tomorrow and then going into Monday, Tuesday. So again, watch the volume. Almost 18 million today. It's pretty much going to nothing. And it almost feels like we're already in the holiday mode with July 4th coming up, like I said. So watch the volume. Let's get into the queues. All right, guys, the queues still consolidating in this low end of this red bar. Still slightly bearish going sideways in this channel. That's a slightly bearish channel needs to get above the 20 MA, that will be the first step, then above the 750 retrace, and then attack the all-time high. It gets above there, 145 to 150, guys. Gets to 150, we'll see how it sets up, and then uh, then we'll reevaluate. If it stays down here and this pattern starts to play out, you look for some slippage. 50 MA, gap fill will hold it up, but if that goes through there, you're looking at double bottom, low pivots, gap fills, and ultimately uh, 130.42. If that does happen, or if this thing keeps chopping and chopping and chopping, you know, for another week or two, then I would say this area here around the 126. So, again, to break out and get to get out of this range where it's a little more bearish, you got to get above the 20 and start start making a move for the all-time high. Gets up in here, then this bearish sentiment will be a little bit slightly off the table. But, again, we might get one head fake and then, the, you know, next move down. So, just waiting for pattern, guys. This is pretty good so far on the daily. Let's see what we get tomorrow if it closes above or it comes right back down and closes down in here at the lower range. So, Q's fine. Still above the 50 and the 200. Nothing wrong. Light, light volume. DIA. So the DIA, uh, pretty much the same thing, guys. 26 million. Volume was a little bit better, but 16 cents down. Pretty much a non-eventful day. But we did get three bars down. So into this trend line. Not that it's the biggest trend line in the world or the, you know, oh my gosh, it must save it. But again, it, it seems like it's been hugging that. You know, that's why I've kept it in there. It seems like it's coming in, going up, coming in, coming up. Go right back to it again. See what happens tomorrow. Let's see where the close is. I don't think we filled the gap here. No, we almost filled the gap. Maybe today I'd have to, I'd have to look at it a little more close. Um, but above the MAs, like always, you know, still in an okay stance. Still, well, still bullish going back. Up, chop. Just, just like the spy. Pretty much follow the spy, guys. So now it's trying to make another run. Slipped the last couple days. But uh, we'll see if that's just kind of a pullback and see if we start chopping again. Even if we come back down to the 20, we're still in kind of a chop area up here at the all-time highs. Again, the DIA, 220, 225, 230. We're at the 215 area. That was our first area of resistance. Pull back off that. Let's see if the 220, 225, 230. On the down move, trend line here. Then, you know, then the 200 even number and the... Uh, 200 MA down in this way. And you have a bunch of pivots down in here. I still think we get to those November lows with Trump, but we'll see. Nice big gap down here. But again, still early to tell. That's a long way down, guy. 
So I'm just thinking, like, I'm a chess player, guys. I'm looking at, uh, okay, what are the possible moves? Up moves here, down moves maybe down in here. There also is a gap right here around 186, so got to watch for that. There's a couple other things, too. We'll see what the weekly close. We'll go over the weekly tomorrow and stuff like that. So pretty uh, complacent week, guys. Had some good moves intraday, but really, really didn't do a lot. Just kind of stayed up there in the last couple weeks. So uh, just being really, really quiet. And it might even be worse next week going into the holiday, like we said. All right, so the IYT again. We've been talking about this one lagging. It should be leading. It came in. It got a little bit of a bounce today, but off the 20 MA, they had to save it, bring it above. Close it maybe halfway up on a retrace, you know, make everybody feel better. It'll be some more, a little slightly more bullish, a little bit bearish with that down move sideways. That's more of a micro pattern when I call it more macro bull micro bear still above the ma's looking good so you know what are you gonna do volume came in though which i was surprised so that tells me someone possibly in here trying to push this thing up and save the day keep it above that 20 guys a lot of technicians if it gets above the 20 oh man this thing's going up so for me i'm gonna wait for pattern see where this thing goes and we'll take it from there this is the iyt which is the uh, transports guys looking a little bit weak we had a nice run on this one so this is when it was looking weak before Coming off a slight bullish pattern, though, guys. Kind of dipped and then boom, straight up. This one was lagging and all of a sudden, bam, was almost leading. Came in, made an all-time high, came in slightly bearish, too, overall. So keep an eye on this one, guys. It is lagging. Never good for the markets. All right, guys, if you like my videos, go to stockbookie.com, sign up, or go to YouTube and subscribe. You'll get the email alerts. you get the trade ideas and uh, email alerts to when we do our live streaming sessions. Those are fun, guys. Those are where we're looking for some live trades as well and try to make some money for you guys. So, all right, uh, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to call it uh, quits. But thanks, guys, for coming, stopping by, checking out my videos. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.